Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flailthroughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2. And this is a two-parter guest video from Demolition Hound, who has before and after uh, videos of the Yoga Jaeger's buffs. Uh, Jaeger has always been pretty good. It's a relatively mobile uh, support. Got good uh, skills and stats, and they, all, and they gave it a couple of new tricks, which hopefully I will remember to mention in the... Uh, uh, second half, but if I don't, you know, I'll be reading them off at the end of the video, uh, so that will work too. But yeah, it's, you know, I always liked it. I mean, it's a, it's a Gelgood, it's a support with a charging beam rifle. The, it's pretty much got everything I'd want. Also, I believe it, as I recall, it has balancers, so yeah, good support. And kill shot there, very nice. Let's see, if that's a 550, this is probably a level 3 Jaeger. Uh, some of the, uh, some of the buffs are level specific uh, on the Jaeger. Like all of them got one uh, got the uh, forced injector buff, and then the rest are a little bit more uh, uh, localized to other level higher levels that needed a little more help. Let's see, that's two kills so far for demo. This is an ace match. Um, the camo is, a demo says is based on uh, a uh, Katsuhisa uh, Kondo uh, piece of art, which. Yeah, pretty sure. Well, I do know he liked, uh, you know, interesting camo patterns, so that does track. Not sure I've seen any of his art of the Jaeger, but he's drawn plenty of Gelgoog, so it, it all works. Let's see. That is a GPO uh, 2 beam bazooka type, so type disadvantage there. Let's see. So far, it is starting out really strong, 49.85 to 50. Uh, basically, you know, Demo's team won the first, uh, wipe or two. Uh, let's say one. One makes sense. But, uh, with assists, that, that score more or less tracks, I think. Uh, but yeah. Let's see. Good shot there on the, I think it was the, uh, Zeku Eintz, uh, Type 3. Which, yeah, it's the one with the Gatling. It's, I really, I really like all the Zekus, actually. So it's a shame that uh, kit's more or less out of print for a while, because it's kind of pricey on the second market, even through my, you know, even uh, through the uh, sources I've been uh, using lately that are better than most. But, yeah, wouldn't mind getting it eventually. I'm not sure I have any kind of... any kind of version of the Gogo Jaeger either, now that I think about it. Like, not one. That's weird have to fix that as well, but trying to hold off on buying any new models for a little bit because the uh, stack of larger kits is starting to list, so I, I probably need to get to that Rick DS I've been, a Master Grade Rick DS I've been wanting to build, just ah, need to sleep a little better first, I think, I've been my sleep schedule's been weird since even before I went out to California let's see, good damage to the, that uh, Shakushiki Kai MPT I believe it is either the Kai or the MPT, regardless. Um, let's see, minute and a half left until the ace is chosen. Uh, to give the usual uh, spiel, the uh, ace uh, will be worth, uh, their uh, kills will be worth triple points. They will be worth triple points if killed. Uh, their assists also worth triple points, incidentally. So, you know, keep your ace alive, keep the enemy ace dead. Of course, since ace matches tend to come up on Friday nights when one of the goals is get two kills twice, it's difficult. But it's nice to just see uh, uh, see a trenches match again, honestly. Haven't seen the trenches in rotation in a while. I would really, you know, I, I really wish, you know, some of these maps didn't just completely fall through the cracks in quick matches and rated matches for, like, months on end. I like... I like uh, the... Uh, I, I like the, uh, man, I can't remember the name of it, but it's the, uh, not the port base, but the other base with all the water, who who's, uh, has not been around for so long, I can't remember its name. I like the port base, too, and that's been away for a while, and Mountain is just not, uh, has not turned up in a while. That one, I'm fine with it taking a little bit of a sabbatical, since I've been playing it for ten years now, but that's that's just a thing. Okay, 15 seconds to ace selection, and good uh, good hits there. Powered Jim dro just dropped back in. 
few more shots. Yeah, that five seconds to ace. Yeah, and Demo, I think, realizes it and is holding his fire. He is the ace, though, so now he can finish it off, hopefully. Well, got the one in front of him. Somebody else got that one back there. That's fine. You know, they, they already had a really substantial lead, so, you know, allies taking a kill here, they're not going to be the end of the world. Um, definitely, you know, definitely better if Demo gets it, but that's just, you know, that's ace matches. Let's see. And let's see, he's pulling back to try and get some, uh, get a ranged attack in. Because, yeah, the uh, the Jaeger may have balancer, but what it does not have is a very high melee priority, in my recollection. So, yeah, you can you can uh, swing on people, but if they're facing you and they can swing back, you're probably going to lose. Good shot there. Good news is that uh, while people aren't paying, you know, while Demo's teammates aren't doing enough to help him, he got isolated with, by two very low health people, so, ah, there's a swing. Nice. Yeah, so he was able to uh, get those kills and put his uh, team even further ahead. That's nice. And he got the ace as well. Yeah, he's going to have a great score coming out of this. So, um, let's see. There's a minute and 40 left. And yeah, just uh, his, his team is cleaning up here for sure. Uh, he is going to take a death, but there's still 7,000 points ahead. If the enemy ace is really sharp and a good shot, and uh, Demo's team is uh, still is low on health, which, no, they're not low on health, they're just dead, most of them. That's actually for the best, because they'll come back in with, you know, full health. But the ace did get one of them, and now it's only a 4,000 point lead. So yeah, it, it's you You have to be careful about, uh, about ace matches. Yeah, number one uh, said uh, in the Zizulu said fall back for now. I think it's good advice. Yeah, well, the the team is more or less together. Number two, I think, yeah, was trying to get a uh, capture a checkpoint. Not the worst idea, but yeah, as long as they can protect demo and demo can get some shots in, and the, and the range on the Jaeger's rifle is pretty great as well. Um, Jaeger and GBO one was a, was a general, and it certainly behaves more generally in. Double uh, O eighty, but it works like this too. Works just fine. Okay, that's about the worst thing that could have ambushed demo. But uh, if he can figure out what di uh, direction is best to retreat in, and I think he has found it, there he's still got a fighting chance, especially with uh, yeah the the rest of the team not being directly on him. Uh, let's see, somebody back there has fake beacon. Ow. Still looks like a win if the ace, if the enemy ace doesn't get any more kills in the next five seconds. So let's see what we got. Uh, okay, an assist with uh, which also got triple points for the assist for demo. So, yeah, that's probably a pretty solid win for his team. Yep, nice. And let's take a look. Um, yep, 141,000 damage. Very nice. 11,000 points out of 22. Very, very nice. And top assist as well. 9 and 4. Yeah, great stuff. And this was before the buffs. We're going to take a look at after the buffs now. Okay, let's take a look at the post-buff uh, Jaeger. Um, the main changes they've given it is that they've uh, given it Forced Injector, which gives it a little bit more maneuverability. And they uh, also gave it... Um, a uh, high, a little bit higher damage and lower heat and faster rate of fire on its uh, wrist beam gatlings. So, they should be a little bit more gatling like now. I think. Good shot on that heavy doga. But yeah, it's uh, some like I said, some of the other uh, weapon specs I believe got improved for higher levels. Which since there's an atlas, this is going to be a higher level. Um, probably, yeah, probably. Uh, probably the level 4, I, I want to say, because it goes up to 5. But, yeah, yeah, level 4 sounds right. I'll go with it and be corrected happily if I have uh, messed that up. Okay, yeah, he, I swear he got like 3 or 4 shots in just in that little bit of time. Let's see, yeah, he's put, trying to push out because there is, uh, you know, there's people coming up behind trying to kill him. Looks like somebody grabbed that uh, Gerbera. That's just fine, actually, because, yeah, anything that, uh, you know, speeds up the process is is good at this point. Yeah, Demo's moving in close, which 
definitely going to have an easier time fighting close than the uh, heavy Doga is, I think. Though, yeah, it managed to tackle, but pr I really don't think it should have been able to manage, but that's, again, GBO. Let's see. Yeah, look how much faster that is now. And, yeah, follow that with uh, a burst from the beam machine gun. And that's it. There is the Gerbera. Okay, the person who's over there behind, uh, you know, behind uh, allied lines there is, has decided to shoot Demo in the back, so he's going to go take care of that. And, you know, rightly so. Good shot. And let's see. Yeah, charging beam rifles are great. You know, like I said, they just... You know, they, they... I think they increased... Yeah, that's right. They increased the range on the on the wrist guns to uh, uh, 250 from 200 as well. So that is... Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, this thing is looking really good. I'm going to have to try it out. I haven't gotten a chance to yet. There's... There's quite a few of the buffed things I haven't had a chance to run with yet, but that's just, you know, how it is. When I was doing my uh, step-ups for the, uh, uh, for the uh, narrative, I got, I did get one other new thing. I got the Anksha, which, as far as I can tell in terms of gameplay, it kind of comes down to what if they made a Gaplin Ashimar shaped. But that's just, you know, just an overview. I haven't had a chance to run it much yet, so... Just, you know, just kind of my first impression. Um, but I also got two four-star repeats. That was a little bit soul-crushing, but that's, you know... There's so many I don't have. And I got another Dag Doll and another... Uh, I forget what the other one was, but something I've had basically forever. So, yeah, just... Hmm, you know, all was kind of, uh, kind of irritating. Um... Let's see, that is a mass production double Zeta, of course, which is really quite good. Yeah, those Gatlings, re also speaking of, really good. Ow. Let's see, missiles. Demo uh, dodged most of them. And, yep, got, uh, got some assistance now. But, yeah, that wrist gun really fast, and that did the job, so nice. All right, and let's see. Um... Yep, shooting a thing. There's uh, the Gerbera, which is also dead. Yeah, even with even with type advantage, this is not something you can uh, approach lightly. Um, this he, this I think it's the advanced Hazel uh, did a pr uh, pretty good job of it, but it's the first thing so far that has advanced high mobility. There are so many Hazel variants, which there you know there's a, there's a bunch more stuff we could get from Advance of Zeta. Uh, you know, even without getting into the really large, unwieldy things, there's a lot. I'd like to, I'd like the Woundwort Psycho Blade Custom, honestly, just because it's, uh, it's, you know, interesting looking. So, that's another, I almost bought that kit a couple of times. But, okay. Charging. Landed a good shot. Yeah, that's really fast now, I like that. That's, you know, just another one of those changes of, okay, yeah, that probably should have been like that in the first place, because that, that wrist gun used to be a lot slower, of course. So, it's slow enough that I'm not even sure Demo used it much, if any, in the uh, previous round, so. But, yeah, it, it, uh, it looks good. Jaeger looks like it's really uh, doing well. Ah, there's there's the other two people that are alive. I I, I was hoping they'd, they'd step in soon, since everybody seemed to be hunting down Demo. They've got at least two raids, so, you know, it's a tight spot, but he, so far he's doing really well. Yep, focusing his fire on the MP Double Zeta before he dies, because may as well pu uh, put in as much damage as you possibly can. Okay, so yeah, Gerbera finally got him. I should say Tetra, just because there's other Gerberas at this point. I wonder when we'll get the Gerbera te uh, Tetra Custom. We have not had that yet. And it's it's a neat looking figure. Um, let's see. Uh, two minutes left, 89 to 83. Fairly close, so... I, I feel like uh, Demo's team sh uh, should probably bunch up a little more, but that's just me. Good shot on, on the Gerbera Tetra. And... yeah. This is a good. This is a good time to be up on that ledge. It's a place to uh, get to cover, and a place where you can just pick which direction is best to be uh, going. 
Okay, yeah, there is another kill. Good dodge there. And, let's see, somebody is setting up on that hill, probably about to try and fire a very large gun. Oh, it's the Heavy Doga. Yes, it is. It's trying to fire the uh, uh, large Bruno gun, which, of course, causes heavy stagger in its solid shot mode, and then the, uh, then the uh, cluster shot just has a pretty wide area of effect. So, Okay. But yeah, about a minute left. They've got a 1,500 point lead. Again, at 600, that's maybe two kills. So there is more to be done. And hopefully time to do it. Unfortunately, they're spawning in behind. So yeah, definitely a good idea to push and take care of the people in front of you first. Ah, Ark of the Hill kind of, uh, kind of uh, interfered there. But good shot. There you go. And let's see. There's the Gatling... There's the uh, wrist gatling, or there's the machine gun and the wrist gatling. The handheld rifle is technically a beam machine gun, though the way it works in this game, I tend to think of it as a sniper rifle. Uh, it's definitely closer to that than the than a machine gun in, in how it operates most of the time. But yeah, they're maintaining a 2,000 point lead. This is looking like hopefully it will be a win, but it's close enough it could bounce back and forth in this last 15 seconds, so we'll see. Um, yeah, there's a couple of uh, teammates low on health, so we'll see if they can hold out and how much damage they do to this 3,000-point uh, score difference uh, if they drop. Uh, answer being, they did not drop, so none. Nice. And that is the round, and we'll take a look at some numbers, and then we will uh, read off the uh, changes to the specs. 122,000 damage, 4,900 points, and top diversions. Very nice. 7 and 3. Yeah, another good round. And thank you for that demo. I really appreciate it. And that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! Okay, so the full list of changes... It has a thousand more hit points now. Uh, at level one, it went from sixteen thousand to seventeen, and the upper levels also get, you know, a similar increase. It has forced injector level one, which is not terribly boost efficient, but it can let you change direction uh, uh, as needed. Apparently, higher levels have forced injector two or higher, so probably at level four, yeah, he had a higher level of it. Uh, high performance scope has gone from level 3 to level 4, so you can zoom in a little further. Uh, uh, starting at the level 3, the range mod has gone up 3 points from 48 to 51. 4 and 5 have also been uh, increased. Okay, yeah, for, uh, Force Injector level 2 uh, comes in at level 3, and it says higher skill level given to higher MS level, so it's apparent, possibly Force Injector 3 once you get up to the top level of it. I don't know. Uh, let's see, starting at level 3, special leg buffer also goes from level 1 to 2. Uh, at uh, level 4, it gets a 5 point speed increase, going from 120 to 125. Uh, at also, get uh, level 4 and 5 get thruster output increase level 1, and reaction booster uh, program level 1, which I'm pretty sure should make it... Uh, uh, make it faster and less uh, and more boost efficient when you start boosting. I think that's what those two skills are. Uh, also, uh, yeah, starting at level 3, the beam machine gun's power was increased. Uh, 50 points up. Level 3, it goes from 550 per uh, shot to 600. Uh, also, the charge shot was uh, power was increased. Um, and those, yeah, those, uh, they also got, uh, adjustments for level 4 and 5 because of that. Uh, and yeah, the beam spot guns and the arms, uh, heat rate went from 15 to 12%, range increased from 200 meters to 250, the rate of fire has, uh, been increased, uh, the ASL range has been extended, and a major power boost from level 3 and up, where the level 3's spot gun went from 274 to 320. So, pretty solid. And yeah, so, like I said, Demo, I'm pretty sure, was using a level 4 there, so he had just about all the possible upgrades in play.